This is a simple card system that I use for my layout. Um, the key to this system is we do not look for car numbers at all. We treat a box car pretty much as a box car and a flat pretty much as a flat and a tank as a tank and so on. So let's show you how this works. This is what I call a starting card. As you see on it, it says S1. That's for scenario one. Um, every operating session is set up as a scenario and a scenario consists of about 10 cards and of those cards three will be for yard work and seven will be for um, road work. Um, in this particular card, if you look at it, it has businesses down the center that my layout serves and um, the first row says start of S1 and that is a, a list of all the cars that need to be at those businesses in order to start this scenario. Now my scenarios follow one another so where S1 stops S2 would begin and you don't have to choose to set yours up that way but that's what I've chosen to do on mine. Each scenario takes about three hours to operate which is just about right for a group of guys. This is a typical yard card. If you look down it says S1, Y1. So that's just a scenario one, yard card one. And um, so if we go up to the top it just states that it's yard work. You can pick any engine. You do not need a caboose and the yard work that it's in is west yard. Then if we take a look, um, this is a typical one for building trains. It says build train 03 down then 04 and then 05. It tells you the list of the cars that are needed to build that train and then notify the dispatcher whenever it's finished. Once the dispatcher is notified then it transfers to a road card. The road crew would then come and pick it up and uh, head out to deliver the cars. So um, we are going to build train 03, or at least part of it. Some of it's already done, as you'll see. And um, as you look at it, it needs two flats of lumber, one box of lumber, one gondola of steel, two small tanks, and seven grains. We're not concerned with any numbers. We're just concerned with the two flats need to have lumber on them. One box car needs to say something on the side related to lumber and the gondola needs to have steel in it. The grain cars and the tank cars are just whichever small tanks and whichever grain cars we want to choose. On the back side we see that all it is is uh, it says yard work. Um, there is no delivery destinations because there are no deliveries done with this particular card. So um, let's go ahead and finish um, building train 03 so it's ready for the road. This is the TJ and H main yard. We have an inbound and outbound side. The inbound side is close to us. Here we see train 03, the two flats of lumber and a caboose. We're going to finish building that as you watch. Here we have one gone of steel, two t small tank cars, and one box car of lumber being added to the train. The 
yard crew is heading to the inbound side of the yard to pick up seven grain cars and add them to train 03. When that task is done, the train will be ready to leave the yard. Build up a little air and let's go. yard crew will get out of the way and allow the road crew to come pick up the train and they'll be off. Here's train 03 ready for the road crew. Seven grain hoppers, one gondola of steel, two small tanks, one boxcar of lumber, two flats of lumber, and a caboose. Ready to go. And here's the road crew getting ready to hook up to train 03. They will pump up some air and get ready to go. This is the card that they'll be using to do their, their road work. This is S1C3. And all it says on the orders is switch cars to the destinations noted on the other side of this card. If we look at the back, the very first destination is Paws Lumber. That's where we're headed. Here we are at Paws Lumber, the first destination on our list. Here we will deliver one boxcar of lumber and two flats of lumber, and we will pick up two empty flat cars. These will be delivered to West Yard. At Paws Lumber, the empties have been pulled and the full cars have been set in the yard. We're now ready to hook back up to the train and head to our next destination. Here we are at Three Mile Co-op, 
the second destination on our card. Here we will deliver seven empty grain hoppers and we will pick up eight full grain hoppers. The full grain hoppers will be delivered to West Yard. First on the agenda, pull out all the full hoppers. With the full cars pulled from the yard, we can now back in the empties. With the work done at Three Mile Co-op, we can now hook the train back together and move to our next destination. Here we are at BD Fire Systems, our third destination on the card. Here we will deliver one gondola of steel and two small tanks. We will pick up two empty small tanks and one empty gondola. Those will be taken to West Yard. This concludes all the switching that's on this card. The only thing left is to take this train down to West Yard so it can be made up into other trains. Here we are at West Yard. We will be pulling into the inbound side of West Yard. And there on the outbound side, we see train 04 ready for us. This concludes this card as written.